How's it going, boys and girls? Um, I've had a few guys reach out to me about this variant of the side swing, and I promised I'd do a slow motion video. That was about two months ago, and I apologise. It's taken this long, but got it done now, and I hope it's helpful. So this is going to be the slow motion walkthrough for the behind the back side swing. So one thing I want to stress before we get into it, ideally you want to be comfortable with the regular side swing first and by that I mean being able to side swing with your right hand leading and with your left hand leading. Then I recommend moving into the behind the back side swing as that's just a more complicated variant of the first. So we're all clear on that, um, let's get into it. Alright so we're going to kick things off with this rear view. And what we're going to do is start with some regular side swings and then transition into the BB swing so that we can see what's going on. I'd recommend starting stationary, stood still. Don't try and do it on the move just yet. Get comfortable doing it at a standstill and then you can start moving around with it. First thing to remember, it's the bottom hand that goes behind the back at all times. Top hand, disaster. Use the bottom hand. If your left hand happens to be on the bottom, it goes behind the back on the left side and if your right hand happens to be on the bottom it goes behind the back on your right. So from here we can see that when your bottom hand's the left hand it goes behind the back on the left side and vice versa for your right hand. All the while your top hand maintains its course and it stays swinging as usual in front of the body as though it were a regular side swing. It's only the backhand that does any extra work here. Okay, so from there, as we take a look here, we can see that as that bottom hand begins its journey around the back of the body, it's actually pointing downwards at your side. And that's because when that bottom hand goes round the back and comes out on the opposite side, you need to have your handle pointing out of that side. So you're essentially going to have your left hand pointing out to your right side on that side, and vice versa for the right, right hand pointing out to the left. So the reason why I start off with the handle pointing downwards is to just cut that journey. So rather than moving 180 degrees, you're sort of just moving 90 degrees, coming out here, and then you come back. Now for the tricky part, timing, patience, lots of f***ing patience. What you want to do, when you get that back hand across to the opposite side, excuse me, oh man, oh, I should just cut that out, nah leave it. When you get that backhand at the opposite side, um, you have to, you must wait for the rope to tap the ground, and then what you want to do is screw your wrist open again. So your rope, your rope hand's going to be like this on the other side, and you want to screw it open and bring it back. And that's it. That's it. Say that's it, but it took me ages to get to do it just go through these tips be patient with it it can be frustrating but just save this video whenever you need to come back to these tips and just get a reminder of where you might be going wrong any sticking points just go through it again keep doing it keep getting the repetitions that's the way forward um, hoping this vid was helpful this is only really a, a slow motion kind of walkthrough video but I do intend to make time to do a proper tutorial for this promise it's not going to take another two months but it's coming it's coming soon so good luck and take care